Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Fixer Med. Welcome back to my Anki tutorial series. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to install the pop-up dictionary add-on to your newer version of Anki, more specifically 23.10 and higher. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. Normally, I'd recommend you to go ahead and download the add-on by using this code here. But for the sake of this tutorial, since it's so old, you're actually going to have to go to the GitHub page and download the files manually since we're going to have to adjust the code a little bit. If you go ahead and use the number code to try and install from Anki Web, it won't work properly. So go ahead and do that. Hit code, download zip, and then it should be in your downloads folder. So now you can go ahead and open it up and unzip it. And then you have the SRC folder and you have pop-up dictionary. This is the main folder you'll be copying into your add-ons folder. So you can go to tools, add-ons, and then view files. So these are all your add-ons and add-ons 21. I'm going to go ahead and modify the code right here. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Go to open up reviewer.py. And then change this five to a six. And then copy this piece after Q menu, delete it and post it here. Then exit Then save the changes. And I like to get rid of the underscore since I like having my add-ons named in a similar manner. I'm gonna go ahead and post it here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and restart on key. So the changes take place. Let's give it a second, all the updates and stuff go on. Open on key back up. Extensions are downloading. Perfect. Excellent. So the add on should be properly installed now. Working on my Anki version. Let me show you guys the Anki version 23.12.1. As you can see, I believe that's the latest version of Anki at the time of recording this video. And I'm going to check my pop-up dictionary add-on. I wouldn't recommend editing this. You can edit this to 2000 if you want, but personally I just like leaving the settings alone. I'm gonna start a review and let's go ahead and see this. If I highlight something, I get cards showcasing where lipoprotein lipase is found. Fibrates upregulate the enzyme lipoprotein lipase by activating PPAR alpha. PPAR alpha also induces HDL synthesis. Very nice. So now I had the information. If I want to see apolipoprotein C2, I can also get information about that. So you can see apolipoprotein C2. All the other cards with apolipoprotein C2 are in play, so it's like a library where I can refer to facts as I'm reviewing my cards. Very similar to the Amboss add-on. Obviously the Amboss add-on is a little better, but hey, you get what you pay for, and you pay nothing for the pop-up dictionary, so it's a, actually a good tool to utilize when using the OnKing deck or any pre-made deck for nearly any subject out there. So that will do it all for this tutorial, guys. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If not, this is Fixer Med signing off. Be sure to have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.